Today we are taking a look at the Titan Attachments light duty stump bucket from palletforks.com. This is the quick attach light duty version. Now we picked this up around four months ago to help us with clearing out our fence line. So let's dive right in and take a look at what we got. Now, as I stated before, we purchased this stump bucket last fall during the Black Friday sale. Black Friday is always a great time to save yourself some money. If you have an expensive purchase or you're looking to get another attachment for your tractor, we purchased this with the sole purpose of helping us clear out our fence lines. We have small trees, large trees, rocks, railroad ties, you name it, we got it in our fence line. Now, we spent a lot of time last summer clearing out our fence lines, as you may have seen in some of our older videos. It was just miserable going. It was hot outside we were covered in scratches covered in poison ivy so we figured you know what we shift our focus towards the garden and the pastures wait till winter and then spend over winter clearing out the fence lines when the weather is more favorable now as far as the fence lines are concerned we have everything from small bushes to one to two inch trees from six to eight inch trees and even some clusters of trees in our fence line it's a complete mess so we figured this stump bucket was going to be perfect to get the job done now, after we put in the order for the stump bucket, it only took about two weeks for this thing to come in. And in the meantime, what we decided to do was go through our fence lines and take out all the metal, like the T-posts, the welded wire fence, and the barbed wire, all in an effort to try and avoid damaging the tractor when using the stump bucket. We quickly found that small trees up to two to three inches in diameter could almost pop straight out of the ground with one scoop. We had been using the pallet forks on our Kubota to pull these small trees right out of the ground, but the stump bucket took a lot of strain off the loader we then move right into testing the stump bucket on something a bit larger. Now removing trees in the six to eight inch diameter range takes a little bit more work and a little bit more technique. So I'm gonna give you my top five tips and what I learned to take these trees out a little bit easier. Tip number one, work around the trees. Dig out the root systems first. Loosening the soil around the trunk and the root system is probably the most important tip I can give you because it will save you the most amount of time. Using this method will also reduce the stress and the strain on your tractor and therefore increasing your loader's longevity. Tip number two, use the ripping teeth to your advantage. Plunge the stump bucket into the earth and begin to lift the loader arms while backing up your tractor. Let the ripping teeth go to work and chew up the larger roots or break off all the smaller roots. Most of the tree roots will simply break or be cut below the surface. Just take your time and allow the teeth to do their thing. Tip number three, timing is everything. I found removing the trees two days after it had rained made the work much easier on the tractor. The clay or compacted soil, whichever you're working in, is easier to pierce and the tree roots can pull free much easier. Traction can obviously be a concern, so I found that the second day after it rained was optimal. You're going to want to give the ground a day or two to dry out. Tip number four, cut bigger tree tops off first. Cut down taller trees, leaving yourself a four to five foot stump to push or pull again, and then begin to dig out the stump. As you can see here, I had one close call, and unfortunately it didn't cause any damage. Pulling out the stump in a tall tree can lead to an unpredictable situation because you do not know which way that tree is going to fall. So do yourself a favor and cut the tree top off first. I see way too many people on YouTube digging out grown trees, and it makes me way too nervous. Tip number five, safety. Safety is always important. So. If I have any tip that I really want you to pay attention to here, it's the safety aspect. You have to remember that when using the stump bucket, you have a long lever arm and a lot of leverage on the tractor. It can become very easy when you have the stump bucket dug into the ground to have enough leverage to lift the tractor off the ground. I did it many a times myself. Um, some of the situations got pretty hairy, which is why I really want to make an emphasis on the safety point. There are two different aspects to the safety that I want to talk about. The first one is not as important as the second one, but it can be dangerous. The first one is when you're on level ground and you're digging out a stump. You can really catapult yourself off the seat of that tractor if you're not careful. So remember to wear your seatbelt and have your ROPS up. The second point is when you're on, on level ground and you're trying to pull back on the loader and lift the stump out of the ground. You can really tip the tractor over real easy. Ask me how I know. I didn't tip it over, but there was a couple times you got to be really vigilant on the loader handle. If you feel yourself starting to tip over, go ahead and dump that bucket and get yourself back on the ground. 
So once you get to digging with your stump bucket, it may take you a little bit of tractor time to optimize the efficiency and get the hang of things. But to me, since I was a kid, there's been nothing more fun than digging a hole. So for me, it's time well spent and I always love being on the tractor. Now let's talk about some alternate uses for the stump bucket and some features that the Titan attachment bucket has versus comparable units. Now there are a bunch of different ways you can probably think of right off the bat to use this on your farm or your homestead. Um, obviously its primary purpose is to pull stumps, but this thing can also dig a pretty good ditch too. So if you need drainage on your property or if you need to lay down some underground pipe or cable or something like that, this does a pretty good job. It obviously can only go as deep as the bucket is and you need to be careful about some of the stresses and strains that you put on the, the tractor, uh, the loader. But if you need a quick ditch dug, it's pretty good. Um, another thing would be transplanting trees. You know, if you think about it, you can dig the hole. And as I showed earlier, uh, you can pull a one to two inch tree right out of the ground in one scoop. So planting trees with this would actually be pretty easy. Another thing that this does really well is pull buried rocks right out of the ground. So if you have rocks in your lawn or in your pasture, this does a phenomenal job. I did it quite a few times, just pulling the rocks right out of the ground. And then it does a phenomenal job of hauling rocks around. So if you have a rock out of the ground that it's just too big to move by hand. This does a phenomenal job. It's really easy to pick up with this and put it wherever you want. And the last two functions that I could think of were just general shoveling. You know, if you just need to move dirt or something like that, it does a pretty good job at that. And the last one I haven't tested, but I've seen done, and that's prying up concrete or asphalt. So you can put the tip of this right underneath the edge of that asphalt or concrete, just pull back on the loader and pop the concrete out in chunks. So. I've seen quite a few people doing that and it seems to work pretty well. Now let's talk about some of the features of the stump bucket. Obviously I have a quick connect on my tractor. They do offer this in a non-quick connect version. They also offer it for John Deere tractors. Now moving on to the front, we have an AR400 steel tip on this thing, which is abrasive resistant and weldable. So AR400 is used on your excavator buckets and the loader is actually made out of that, the bucket for the loader. Uh, it's also weldable, so if you ever break it and you want to repair it, you can do it yourself. 5 16 steel on the sides and the back. The whole thing is finished in a nice gloss black powder coat. Um, it's about 20 inches high, 45 and a half wide, 42 and a half long, and it weighs about 102 pounds all in total. And we obviously have the nice serrated teeth right here. As you can see, I've been using this for about five months. They have a little bit of wear on them. It's not too bad. A couple of them have rolled over a little bit, but I believe this is just your plain carbon or low carbon steel or something like that, your generic plate. So that's just bound to happen. Now don't get me wrong, I do love this stump bucket, but there are three things that I would have liked to have seen different on this version. The first thing is I would have liked to have seen Titan Attachments put a chain slot right where I've put this T. Some of the competitors have that chain slot right there and you can slide in a link of the chain, turn it sideways and hook it down and that way you can wrap the chain around the stump and pull on it that way. Goodworks Tractor offers a replaceable tip on their unit. I really like that feature in case this ever broke off. There's three high strength hex screws right here. You just take them out and you can replace it. Visibility for what you're looking at and trying to do is very hard when you're sitting up there on the tractor. It's a solid plate of steel and you cannot see where you're digging. Now, the newest version that came out this year is actually $50 cheaper, and it has cutouts right here from Titan Attachments, so you can see down through the loader, down through here, at what you're digging. I would have loved to have had that, but hey, I'm happy with what we got. It's working beautifully for us, so no complaints there. Okay, so the last thing I wanna talk about is going to be the competitors. So, Goodworks Tractor offers a comparable stump bucket to what we have. Um, it is $200 more, but it is made in America. So from what I've heard, they are really good quality and worth the money. They do have the chain slot and the replaceable tip on their unit, as well as they have those slots I mentioned earlier. So you can see what you're doing a lot easier from the seat of the tractor than what we have. The other competitor I want to mention is Tomahawk Attachments. They're somewhere in the Midwest United States. So they are made in America. That unit is $300 cheaper than the Titan attachments. Now I went through the whole exercise of going through the checkout at tomahawkattachments.com to see what the shipping would be. And it's $200 for the shipping. So 
it ends up being a hundred dollar difference in what we have between the Tomahawk attachments and the Titan attachments. Um, their unit is a little bit heavier. They have three eighths steel instead of five sixteenths, so that's where the weight is coming in. Uh, the other thing that I didn't like about the Tomahawk attachments is the sides where the serrated teeth are, they're only half serrated. So I think the Titan attachments was the middle ground for us. Uh, we didn't want to spend a thousand dollars or more from Good Works, and we also wanted all the serrated teeth and a lighter weight because our L3901, you know, it's got a smallish loader on it. I really don't want to wear it out as we've only had it for like a year and a half. So and the last thing I want to mention is that Titan Attachments does not offer a warranty. I'm not sure if Goodworks Tractor or Tomahawk Attachments actually offers a warranty on their units, but um, it, it seems to me that it's kind of general practice with any of these implements that they know that people are going to be using and abusing these units, so they don't offer a warranty. So just keep that un under consideration when you're purchasing this, you assume all the risk and there's no warranty. So as you can see behind me, we've done a lot of work. We have a lot of burning to do and there's still a lot of work to do. So I think this entire year is gonna be dedicated to cleaning out these fence lines. We are for sure gonna be putting the stump bucket to work. So that's gonna be it for this video. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. It helps us out a lot and it's free. And if you wanna see what we have coming in the future, we have a lot of things going around our homestead. If that interests you, hit that subscribe button. I know today's video is a little bit different, more of a review on an implement, but I thought I'd figure I'd try a little bit something different. So let me know how you like it. Write down in the comments. We'll see you guys next time.